welcome back to my channel if you hear the AC in the background is nothing I can do about that I'm sorry you guys it is hot we have been having every day in the high 90s and I am super tan and I have been enjoying the pool but I am back with the Dollar Tree haul for you guys today happy Friday I hope everybody's doing well so this is a combination haul from a walkthrough that I posted last week because I owed you guys a haul um, and also the walkthrough video that I just posted a couple of days ago both of those videos will be pinned in the comments because I do not buy everything I see your girl is doing better okay because this stuff will accumulate in a heartbeat first things first I picked up this wig the other day with my mom uh, when I did the get ready with me, I told you guys when we took my sister and brother-in-law to the train station, we were going to hit up some beauty supply stores. So I bought this little cute number. It's nice and light, not a lot of hair, short, summertime fine. I love it, right? Well, it was a little bit too blonde for me, and I'm going to insert a picture. I just felt like it was too blonde. So I picked up this from Dollar Tree. Uh, this is Lucky Super Soft Dark Brown, and I just wanted to do the roots, but it kind of bled out to other areas of the wig, but I'm okay with it. I am definitely okay with it. I like this color better than the other color. I didn't feel comfortable in the other color. So this is the Dark Brown. It's a permanent dye. It comes with all of these items, and yeah, I did it, you know? This is a human hair wig, by the way, okay? Um, I do have a sheen haul coming up for you. Um, I did uh, buy a human hair wig that is similar to the wig that I bought for um, our vacation. So I have to wash it. It, it. it does stink. But that is a separate haul coming up. Let's continue with Dollar Tree. So I got the hair dye. Since we're in the beauty section, this was... I went back and got more of this, guys. I did a review on uh, this and I also did a review on those rainbow sugar scrubs didn't like them but I absolutely love this I stored this in my refrigerator because it's like a um, the consistency is like a body butter but a little bit thicker it's almost like a lip balm this is a body balm it's almost like a lip balm that you put on your lips there is a lot of oil in here I use it for my feet I love I love it on my feet you could do your elbows, your knees, but as far as your skin, unless you have like leather dry skin, this might be a little bit too much oil in this. This is um, Scented Oil Therapy Hand and Body Balm um, Fresher Lavender. I'm getting more of a berry scent, which I prefer because I'm not really a huge lavender uh, fan, but if you didn't see the review, I'll just read the instructions quickly. Massage into dry, cracked, or callous areas. Use as needed to review, reveal soft, smooth skin. This bought me another week on my pedicure. You know how you, you need your pedicure, your cuticles look white and dry. You might start getting, you know, callous areas around a certain part of your feet. Honey, this is the bomb.com. And again, I do have one on my bedside, but the ones that I'm not using, I'm storing in my refrigerator up here. Um, that's just my recommendation because it's very hot. And when we're not home, we're not running the ACs constantly. So that's why I'm keeping it in the refrigerator. Um, I did find the matte finish from Pro FX. Now, I didn't find this. A couple of other things uh, for the nails that they have out. This is the only thing that made it to my Dollar Trees uh, so far. Um, they're also the maker of the body balm. Last year, I found the cuticle oil and I wrapped up. Okay, so um, I haven't seen any of the other nail finds, but I did grab this. I did get get two of these um, from Sensationnel, the French tip pens. I bought two, forgot to give my sister hers because I had it with this haul. So I'll probably put it in the mail for her, okay? Because I did give her some nail items, all right? So this comes with the French tip pen and it looks like a clear coat to put on top, okay? So I did get that. I did find this facial brush and it's like silicone rubber which I kind of think I will prefer better um, than those brushes because the cheaper brusher bristle bristles that Dollar Tree has they're kind of rough okay so I have hope for this so I did pick that up this is a repurchase and actually this was for my sister 
I was going to give her one. Uh, this is the bomb.com. This is from Chica. This is a foot scrubber. And let me tell you something. I knew it because if you take this off, you'll feel the coarseness of the pumice stone. So you know it's going to put in work. And this is a ceramic handle. So if you see this, get it. Speaking of which, let me try to find the other thing that I found from them. Okay. It took me a while. Something else that I found from them, and I really thought I bought two. Maybe I only bought one and said I was going to go back. They had this tea tree treated foot pumice um, sponge. I'm saying for feet. I guess you can use it anywhere. It says briefly soak skin in warm, sudsy water, wet pumice sponge, and rub rough area in a circular emotion, applying light pressure. Rinse pumice stone after use to remove residue. I love these. So I definitely picked that up as well. Trying to stay in the beauty finds, okay? This was a surprise find because I hadn't seen anybody else haul these. These are the Yardley London Deep Cleansing Facial Towels. And I love the larger Yardley wipes. So I was so happy to find these. I bought three packs. Um, it says Dead Sea Minerals. Eliminate skin toxin. Protect skin against dehydration and environment. And it has a nice smell. I did a sneak sniff in the store because those Alme wipes, uh, those were like on the top of my wish list and when I seen them I bought them and I think I went ham and bought like three packs I think I returned the other two and I gave them to my mom I couldn't take that rice milk smell even I found them in another scent variety like with green tea or something they stink I can't smell is very important especially when you're using it on your body your face so I got three of those I picked up this color of china glaze Okay, I think this is really, really pretty. I'm gonna do a pedicure with these. That's gonna look nice. And I got these amazing ear lifters. I do have a couple of pair of earrings that are very heavy. So I'm hoping that these will help. Um, helps with bad piercings, stretch lobes, and heavy earrings, okay? I'm seeing these at all of my local Dollar Tree. So I hope if you're looking for this, you find it or you found it. I went ham and I got four of these deodorants from Secret. This is a cooling gel, 48 hour invisible gel with aloe. There is another variety out there with vitamin C. And it's plastic on it now, but you would just put it underneath your arms and apply it like you would any other roll on, okay? Right now, I'm still using and enjoying the Dove deodorant that I found at Dollar Tree, okay? Um, so yeah, so I did get this in the baby section. This is not really so much beauty, but I did pick up one of these Johnson and Johnson baby lotions. I just love the smell of baby lotion. This is a small bottle, but if you have somebody having a baby, you know, people love name brands. So Dollar Tree in the baby section has a couple of name brand items right now. So you could just layer a gift with this, toss it in, because this is a perfect travel size. You can put together a travel because they have the travel size of Huggies. They have the, you know, the travel size of some name brand items you can put together in a diaper bag. You could fill it, okay, with name brand travel finds uh, that you see in the baby section at Dollar Tree for a gift. And I think we're ready to move on from that section of the store with the exception of these bath bombs. I, it just is fizzy and sweet. And usually you'll be able to see a scent. You know, I only picked up one. These are huge bath bombs. It looks like you would only need one at a time. So I just picked up one of these. And I'm just going to put these up for now. Um, if Mr. Fuller wants to use them, he can. If not, my mom will get them for a gift. Or somebody will get them for a gift. In the kids section, they did have these ice packs. They had so many different ones. I just thought these were really cute. I got the football. I have the uh, eye mask that you put in the freezer. Because we do have a refrigerator and freezer up here. Um, nobody wants to be going down. <laughs> them steps in the middle of the night if you want something cold to drink or something so 
if I wake up with a headache or something like that, I, I put the eye mask on, same thing. You know, sometimes I have a headache, it's only on one side or whatever. So I did get this and this is really, really cute. They did have other varieties, so refer to the in-store if you're interested. I'm trying to see. I did pick up one of these Maybelline Super Stay foundation sticks, okay? I think these are great. I do use Maybelline Superstay foundation. I showed you guys on the in-store. This is my foundation of choice, but this is the liquid foundation. This is a foundation stick, which I do have one here open that I bought the last time Dollar Tree had them. So I like that on one end, it's a blending sponge, okay? And on the other end is your foundation stick. I might, this might be this is like almost gone, so it's not going to go up. But you don't get a lot of product. But what I like to use this for, um, because I have an uneven skin tone, people think I have such great skin. No, I, I don't think I do. I have an uneven skin tone. I have acne scars. So instead of using my good Maybelline liquid foundation, if I'm going to work and I'm going to be wearing a mask for 12 hours, I just want to even out my skin tone real quick. So I will use this for work, okay? Um, you know that's all just something quick if I want to run out but I just want to look somewhat together I use these okay and they're back at Dollar Tree okay they haven't been there a while and they're back and I did get this from mama and mine you definitely can get this if you know someone who has a little girl or whatever like that I got it for myself because I love this eye mask feels so soft and I have a million eye masks from Dollar Tree that I probably never used but I am a night shift worker so sometimes if you want to tone out the light um, it just feels so nice and soft and I love leopard this I can give to the granddaughter or somebody with the little girl you know what I mean around here I have a co-worker who has a little granddaughter so I don't see it as a loss I could even use it for a DIY or something you know I don't know to me, I'm getting two for the price of one. So I did pick that up. They did have other items, so refer to the in-store. I believe it would be the earlier in-store, not the one I posted this week. But both of them will be in the comments if you didn't see them. Um, I got these candles. I did haul the ones before. I forgot I said happy birthday to you. But I went back because I said you should get these because you never know if you're ever going to see them again. So this one says OMG. And this one says wow. So I'm just going to put them up because you never know what the occasion it could be. It could be somebody announcing that they're having a baby. It could be somebody announcing that they're engaged. It could be somebody who bought a house. You know what I mean? Anything to celebrate. So I did go back and get those because you know Dollar Tree is get it for or forget it. We know this. Food finds. This was a wish list find for me. I wanted to find... Um, the Bakersfield Pure Vanilla Extract. Vanilla Extract is very expensive. I believe I see Bakersfield at Aldi's. I really do. Um, I could be wrong. And I assumed when I seen everybody calling this, I said, yeah, because they're going to be expired. Well, these are good till February 2024, okay? You don't get a lot. It's not a big bottle. However, if you make frosting, buttercream, or snacks, it isn't a big bottle, guys. So that's why I bought two. All right, you just never know when you're going to need vanilla, you know, and a tablespoon here, a teaspoon there. This is not going to last you long, so I picked up two. And baby, baby, on Memorial Day, instead of doing burgers, I did steaks, okay? And I said, I'm going to try that Dollar Tree teriyaki marinade. And I shared with you guys, or I shared somewhere, whether it was Instagram or with you, I have seen this at Dollar Tree for years. I have passed it by for years, okay? I have used name brand, name brand marinades, okay? Because especially with steak, that's, it's expensive. So you want your, you want it to taste good. So I have bought, if you, if they made it in a name brand, I have tried it. They ain't got nothing on supreme traditions teriyaki marinade this is my third bottle because i used one on actually i used two because i made two steaks on um six steaks on memorial day okay and then i gave my mother the rest of the bottle that was left of the second one uh because i had an extra steak and she took that home to cook or whenever she wants to cook it and then yesterday I made two steaks for me and Mr. Fuller again after we got out of the pool. I cook my steaks in the air fryer, okay? That's just my favorite steak. I'm not saying I haven't had a good steak cooked any other way, but my preference 
if I'm cooking a steak is I like it in an air fryer. I think it's delicious, okay? Well, this is my new jam. Why didn't anybody tell me about this sooner? I mean, I, I didn't have to do nothing to the meat. I didn't add no salt. I didn't add no pepper. Some of these marinades, you, you, you have to doctor them up, okay, even after letting your meat sit in them. So what I did was I put the steaks in a Ziploc bag. I cut up a um, white onion and put it in the marinade and let them sit for hours. Now, it says this is a 30-minute marinade. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. My steaks were always marinating for several hours, okay? And then I just put them in the air fryer. Now, some people might use the rest of the marinade that's in the bag. That kind of, I don't, okay? I reserve some marinade to the side, not the marinade that the meat has been soaking in all day. And I added some honey and I added some green onions to the marinade and put it on the stove, let it simmer, like almost come to, I don't say a boil, but you know when your sauce is simmering. And then when the steak is almost done, after I turned it in the air fryer and it's on its last half, then I put the glaze on top with the honey, the green onions, mixed with the some marinade and it delicious my new fave okay i i'm afraid they're gonna uh, sell out so you know because i've been seeing it for years now that i want it it might go missing so i gotta go to dollar tree and get me some more to put up because i love a teriyaki steak that is everything now there's a lot of new craft finds that, that i talked to you to death right now going on but i just got this in the home decor because i'm going to be doing a diy by my front door um, so this is a green garland. There are other types. It's a little bright. It's a little bright. The green is a little bright. They do, they do have one. I was thinking when I looked at the other one in the uh, video post that I shared on Instagram, maybe you should have got that. But I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how it looks. I wanted something bright though. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna need all of it for this DIY I'm doing, but I got it. Okay. So refer to the end store. Uh, in the cleaning section, I have been waiting for the ceiling fan duster. Um, you, it attaches to a broom handle, and you use it to clean your ceiling fan blades, okay? I might pick up another one just to have and put up, uh, because I have been waiting on this for over a month I've been looking, and it just magically appeared, okay? And something i never seen before, this could have been there, never seen it before. This is a scrub buddy eraser sheets, and you get five sheets in here. Um, you might not be able to see that the thickness of them, but five eraser sheets. So I did pick that up. I did find one of these locked, I'm going to call it a money bank. And this one says money can't buy love. I'm not going to use it as a bank, but I'm going to find a space for it in this area. I just think it's so pretty. So I wanted it. I got more of the vacuum sealed bags to help store winter clothes. I got three more of those. I did get a lot of these scarves, okay? And it walked through from last week that I shared. These are massive, okay? These are massive and I got them in many different colors because you guys know I use the fashion scarves as head wraps, okay? When I don't feel like messing with my hair and I wanna go out and look somewhat presentable, okay? So I actually wore the black already and I got royal blue. So those are two colors I don't have here. But look at this pink, this off-white, red, yellow, terracoise, and hot pink. And again, I got black and royal blue. Now these are huge. On this tag, it has a price of $12.99. But I'm going to tell you, these are not... <laughs> These are not worth $12.99, maybe $4.99, not $12.99, because they kind of snag. You have to be careful, all right, and they are a little bit on the thin side, but for what I'm going to be using them for, I'm very pleased, and they come on these rings, so I did haul that. This, also, I got these clips, these little hair clips I like. Um, I buy them all the time. I will say, if you see them in a name brand, Get the name brand ones instead of these because there's the plastic, it, it will break, you'll, you'll lose some of the teeth. They are annoying, and I don't know why I keep buying them. I don't know why. But if you see them ever in a name brand, get them. And I did pick up this glitter from Hard Candy. Okay, it, 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 just, it just says, it's just glitter. And the color is shine. I mean, you can use it for your eyes. I guess you could put it on your body. It's just 
called Popping Pigments. Of course, I would use this when I wanted to do a glitter eye look. That's personally what I would use it for. I'm taping. I was about to say, am I taping? Hold on one second. Something fell. Okay, last but not least, from Be Pure, they have a couple of different lip products out. Um, in my recent in-store video, you should have seen they had like a lip therapy thing that had a lip scrub, a lip oil, and something else. I don't know. I didn't get it. I'm not interested. But that is in the in-store. But what I did get, they had this hydrating lipstick infused with rose oil. Um, they did have another one with a different tone. This is more of a red tone. And they did have um, a clear lip balm infused with lavender. I almost got it, but I put it back because I, I might not use it, guys. I, I, I'm i not a huge fan of lavender, and I don't know if I'd want that on my lips or whatever like that. Um, but yeah, I think the packaging is really pretty. I, I haven't heard any reviews on this yet, or if I did, I don't remember what they said about it. So be on the lookout if you're interested in that. And last but not least, I did haul, I'm not seeing any of the Tresemme shampoos. A lot of people have found Tresemme shampoo at Dollar Tree and conditioner. I have not seen it, I have been looking. But they did have like the mini Tresemme products. And because this is a human hair wig, and a couple of my recent wigs are human hair, this is um, a perfectly undone waves. This is a mousse. And they did have another, they did have another small product. I forgot what it was. So I got the mousse, you know, because this is like kind of like a messy bob, you know what I mean? And uh, my other human hair wigs are kind of wavy. So I did pick this up. And how much do you get? You get 45 mLs. So that's my Dollar Tree haul, guys. Unfortunately, my Dollar Tree seemed to be drying up. I mean, I have found some good stuff, but it just seems like my father always used to say, all good things play out. And I'm hoping that's not the case because there are still a couple of items that I'm looking for. I am fortunate that I found the vanilla extract was on my list. I had a surprise find, the Yardley Wipes, a long loss, over month uh, hunt for that. You know what I mean? So, uh, it is what it is, guys. Um, I'm not going to drive myself crazy. I am working for the next three days, so if you don't hear from me, that is where I am. Come get me. Um, so um, the days that I do those three back-to-back -back 12 hours, it's kind of hard for me to go to Dollar Tree because I do need to sleep. Oh, as I'm looking down, forgot to show you this. This is Mother Needs a Moment Different Teas. You get four individual boxes with five different tea bags in it and this expires because I was looking at the expiration date February 2025 so if you want to pick these up for gifts you can uh, one of the teas is lemon ginger green tea passion fruit green tea peach mango green tea and pineapple twist green tea I just think the packaging is really cute I have somebody in mind for a Christmas gift a co-worker a supervisor but she doesn't have kids and I think because they named it mother needs a moment you know what I mean? And I don't know why she can't have kids. It could have been a personal choice, but some people can't have kids and they've wanted kids. I don't know her that well. You understand what I'm saying? If it was somebody else who I knew better, who I knew she just chose not to be a mother, but she had fur babies, then maybe I could put together something and say, well, you need a break for your fur babies, you know? But I don't know her that well, and I'm not trying to get her to know her that well. You know, we work, you know, it is what it is. We work together. So, um... Not for her, but definitely for somebody else. And again, the packaging is really cute. I did go back to Dollar Tree, and I thought about picking up another box, but I'm just going to keep this. I'm trying to do better, y'all. I'm trying, and it's not easy. And last but not least, I did find the pediatric stethoscope. I did hold the adult stethoscope in pink. Um, this company, Cardinal Health, they make medical supplies. My job, we have medical supplies from them. I mean, when I posted this on Instagram, somebody said, and I did make it clear, this is not a Lipman, this is not a top-of-the-line stethoscope, so let's keep it, let's be honest. But this is similar to a $10 one that you can pick up in a uniform supply store, okay? Um, one person said, oh, well, I tried it, I didn't hear a heartbeat. I tried it, and I was able to hear a heartbeat. I was able to hear lung sounds. But again, you're not going to hear the same quality. You have to keep in mind... This is not top of the line stethoscope, okay? So you do what you want to do, you know, if you if this would be cute, if you want your kids to play around with it, or to have an extra one. I mean, this is a pediatric one. I got it. Okay, dollar twenty-five. I did get it. Um, but anyway, thanks for rocking with your girl. The in-store videos will be pinned in the comments and 
you'll you'll see me again because I have a shine hole Shein hole uh, to do. I don't know if that will get done this week, and I'm not going to lie to you. Most likely not. It'll probably be on my days off next week. Um, and whatever Dollar Tree finds that I find, I definitely will share. Also, um, follow me on Instagram at Dollar Tree Queen 76. I'm almost up to 4K. I just hit 10K. I'm almost up to 14K. I'm sorry. Uh, when I get to 15K, I will be doing another uh, giveaway for Instagram. For every five, I'll do a giveaway or random giveaways, however I feel. But anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for rocking with your girl. Take care. Bye-bye.